you started out as someone who posed in Playboy. Right. And most of those girls go away. I mean, it's like... I can tell you why. Why you're successful and they're not? Well, why I was able to move past yeah. um, the, you know, the history of why the girls can't. When I was there posing, um, they kind of have you go through a year of appearances, and a lot of times, those girls get caught up in that great paycheck every month. Like, here's $2,000 a month, go to all these appearances, and you can have this as long as you want. Well, you can get very comfortable in that and not want to work. So I did one year, told Playboy, I'm done, and then went back to kind of broke and kind of hit the streets to try to find a manager and make it. The thing that gave you the real break was when you got on MTV doing yeah. that show. Singled out. That was like a big deal. You know, they didn't want to audition me. They, we called, my manager called and says, hey, you know, there's this Playmate of the Year that wants to audition. MTV said, we will never hire a Playmate ever. Never. So I crashed the audition. What do you mean you crashed the audition? How they, do you get it to It turned do that? out to be like cattle call. So I just kind of blended in with them. And uh, when I auditioned, I just kind of did my thing. was kind of obnoxious. And they said, hey, she's so good. They're like, that. let's bring that girl back. So 15 callbacks later, they went, are you that playmate that the manager kept calling? I said, yes. And they went, oh, shit. And I said, listen, my top is not going to fly off in the middle of the show. But, I mean, you've kept your career going for how many years now? That MTV <sighs> thing was when? It's been 20 years. 20 years. 20 years to try to stay relevant is fucking impossible. <laughs> and it's, it's, been, it's been tough, you know. It's been really, really tough. But I'm glad. I'm so grateful I have a fucking real job now. I had a private conversation with Matt Damon and Ben Affleck at Jimmy Kimmel's uh, wedding. And they were telling me the thing they admire most in anybody's show business career mm -hmm. is if they can maintain the career for 10 years. Wow. Like, even if you can just keep going for 10 years, they go, that's beating the odds in show business. It really is. I got to tell you what, what helped me was starting to write books. I remember at that during that Playmate crossover where guys don't want to jerk off to you anymore. Right. I said, I'm going to start writing. I'm going to start writing for chicks. And because we well, can grow old together. And the books have worked out. They've really kind of helped me.